So how do you get an excellent photo of Mars with some great surface detail and maybe a big crater or two? Now you likely already have this, but the most important piece of gear besides the telescope is the mount. This is so you can track it all night. But also another important piece of gear is the camera you get because the camera is very important for how much noise you have, for how large the image is, and also how many frames per second you can take. So with like a ZWO ASI 178mm like I have, it's very pretty fast in terms of frame rate really good in terms of zoom but the problem is with it is it's very noisy so it's pretty noisy and has a lot of amp well that's the only deep sky thing but that's for another story but another thing i would recommend when you're purchasing a camera make sure it is monochrome this will give you about 60 percent more detail according to dylan o'donnell um, i think that's what he said another thing you might want to do for mars is get a uv ir cut filter this will help with blurriness in your mars photos and you might be able to pull out a little bit extra detail and they're relatively cheap too only like 15 bucks on amazon now for you color camera users, I would recommend getting a ZWO ADC. This will really help with atmospheric dispersion. It will give you a sharper image with less color noise, or sorry, color fringe at the very edges. In order to get an incredible Mars image in processing, you probably need to use linked wavelets. This will make it a lot more defined in terms of surface detail. Another thing I recommend is if you have a smaller scope, do not use a Barlow just because it'll get a much blurrier image. But what I can tell you, even though you have a small image, is you can still upscale the image via Photoshop. So how I got my image of Mars is what I did as I upscaled the image in Photoshop. And then what I did is selected only the regions, like the darker regions on the planet, and not the edges because it'll ruin the edges and ruin the rest of the planet and blah, blah, blah. Another thing that Mars photographers deal with is Edrin. Uh, Mars Edrin artifact is a very hard thing to get rid of, and I have it all the time. In order to get rid of it, um, what I usually do is I uh, lasso just the Edrin area once it's upscaled and then I just do a Gaussian blur on it right and then what I do after that is I turn up usually the brightness a tiny bit just to get rid of the darker area on it and uh, yeah I don't really use spot healing brush tool because it makes it look super fake and it doesn't add real detail so that's why I avoid using that tool at all costs but I would use Gaussian Blur because it makes it so much easier. And plus, you're not getting any detail on the edge in anyway. You just want to get rid of it. So just Gaussian Blur to make it blend in with the rest of the planet. So much easier. It doesn't make false, false detail at all. Another thing I recommend doing with Mars is definitely waiting till it's way up high in the southern sky or northern sky, depending on where it's located. But I would ref definitely recommend waiting until it comes way over the horizon, especially this year in 2022. It's going to be really high. So that's much better because if you actually just do it when it's really low on the horizon because you don't want to get up at like 12 a.m. when it's in opposition and photograph, you want to do it like 7 or 8. Well, the problem with that is that you're not going to get a very sharp image. You're not going to get a very, you know, detailed image because it's very bad turbulence because you're passing through a lot more atmosphere on an angle rather than shooting straight up at it and passing along through a very thin layer of atmosphere. So I definitely recommend shooting it at a much higher elevation. Now here's how to determine seeing with Mars. If it's like all wobbly and like changing shape constantly, it's probably really bad conditions. But if it's very stable and it's the, about the same all the way through, maybe a little bit of wobble, it's usually fine. But if it's like this, you know, weird shapes and everything, then that's a problem and you're definitely not gonna get a good image with that because seeing sucks then. I'm just telling you that's what's gonna happen seeing sounds suck. Have you ever photographed Mars before or is this your first time? Let me know down in the comments below. Anyways, until next time, clear skies.